Hey! Today the FKX Media Team will help you install the premium theme. First of all, go to Shopify and find the online store tab and the theme section. Here we will be able to upload the theme file. To do this, click Add Theme and choose Upload Zip File. Find the downloaded theme file and wait for it to fully download. After the file is uploaded, two buttons appear on the right. When you're completely done with customizing the theme, click on Publish, but for now, we'll click on the Customize button and move on to the customization step. First of all, let's set up the home page. To do this, click on the section called Enter Page. The first setting allows you to show the Enter Page and replace the default home page. We can also disable the home page completely. To do this, go to Theme Customize. Below you will find a setting called Hide Home Page. If you enable it, all visitors to the website will be automatically redirected to the catalog page. Let's get back to setting up the Enter Page. The next Settings section will help us choose the background for our Enter Page. The first option for the background is a GIF or image. If you want to use this particular background format, Click on Select Image and select your image. You can also choose a different background to be displayed on mobile devices. After that, uncheck the boxes that replace the background with a color or video so that your background appears on the site. The second background option is the color. You can choose a color by clicking on the color icon or choose a gradient. If you chose a gradient, delete the background color code as shown in the video. And the last option for the background is the video. To select a video, you need to upload it to your Shopify account. To do this, go back to your Shopify dashboard and find the content tab and select the file section. Here we can upload our video file. To do this, click on Upload Files and select the video file. Wait until the download is complete and then click on this icon. It copies the link to the file to the clipboard. Now we can return to the customization page and paste the link to the file into this input field. We can also use different videos for PC and mobile devices. If you want to use the same video, be sure to paste the same link in the video field as for PC, otherwise the video will not be displayed on the phone. With the following setting, we can choose a logo for the enter page. To add it, click on Select Image, and in the window that appears, select your logo. We can also choose its size for PC and for mobile devices. To see how the logo will look on a phone, click on this icon and select Phone View. The following settings will help us choose the distance of the logo from the top. I do not advise you to choose a large distance, as the logo may appear too low on small monitors. The following setting will add an animation to the logo when it appears. Note that if you are using the page loader feature, the logo animation may not be visible due to the fact that it disappears from the screen after the logo animation finishes. The following setting can disable the date and time string. We can choose the color and size of the text. Please note that if your logo is located far from the date and timeline, this means that you have an empty space in the image. It can be cropped with any graphic editor. And if you are using GIF animation, I recommend the YesGIF service, where in the Crop tab you can crop the empty space. Let's move on to setting up navigation. We can choose menu, what will be displayed, the size of the links, the indents between the links, their color, and also choose to display the text with a capital letter, capitalize or lowercase. The following setting will help you select text alignment. You can choose to align left, center, and right. We can turn off the text glow or choose its color, or activate text highlighting on hover and its color. The last menu option allows us to replace it with a single button whose text can be changed in this text field. This button will take you to the catalog page. The next part of the settings gives us the ability to remove or show the icons of social networks, their color, as well as the color of the copyright. To select links to social networks, scroll to the bottom of the settings. Here we can insert our links.
To remove the copyright, you can remove its color. Another feature of this theme is that we can add a button that automatically takes us to the catalog page. It will be useful for the next part of the enter page settings, namely the activation of the second image on click. That will help us to achieve this effect. The first step to set up such an effect is to turn off the background of the site. Remove all checkboxes that replace the background. Then scroll down to the bottom of the settings and activate this setting. Now select two backgrounds, the first is the one that will be visible initially, and the second is the one that will replace the first. Now we can customize the text of the button that appears. In the next text field, enter the duration of the second background display before redirecting to the catalog page occurs. For example, if the second animation is 5 seconds long, enter this value. After you have finished setting up this effect should appear. This completes the home page setup, so I suggest moving on to the rest of the theme settings. Go back to the home page setting and click on this button to go to the catalog page. First of all, let's set up the logo. Go to theme settings and choose a logo. You can also customize the logo size for PCs and phones. Now let's set up the background on the site. Click on website background section. We have already learned how to customize the background for the enter page, so you can easily repeat the same steps. Let's move on to setting the running text. Here we can disable this section. Change the text, text color, background color, size, and text transform. The following setting will help us set up the page transition animation. We can turn off the page loader, select the logo that will be displayed in the center, select its size, background color, and turn off or turn on the animation. If we turn off the animation, the transition between pages will be sharper, and if we turn it on, then a pulsating animation will appear for the logo and the background will fade smoothly from bottom to top. Now let's configure the collection filter. This filter will display all the collections you've created in Shopify, so make sure they're set up correctly. You can disable this section, change the text size, text color, and line color. These lines appear on the phone, to see how the site will look on the phone, click on this icon. The peculiarity of this filter is that on the phone all collections can be viewed with a swipe. Let's move on to the product grid settings. Here you can choose the number of products to display per page and per column, as well as the number of columns on phones. This is not the end of the product grid settings. The rest of the settings are in theme customize. Go to this section and find the catalog product cards tab. Here you can choose the loading animation, hide the price, change the text size and positioning. The product name has the same settings. We can also turn off badges that show items are on sale or out of stock. Next, we can set up the card glow, add a border on hover or static. We can also choose its width, color, and rounding. This completes the product grid settings. Let's move on to setting up the product page. To go to the product page setup, click on any product. I recommend not making changes to the product page as only the necessary information is displayed here. Also pay attention to the buttons located under Add to Cart. They make it possible to switch to the next or previous product that is in the same collection as the current one. If both buttons are crossed out, this means that there are no more products in this collection or you have not set up Shopify collections. If you want to disable these buttons, click on the setting called Product Information and uncheck this box. After you have finished setting up the product page, I suggest moving on to the rest of the site settings. Click on Catalog to return to the catalog page. If you want to activate the date and timeline below the logo, click on this icon to display the date and time. Here we can choose on which devices to show this line, choose the color of the text and its size. If you want to use the music player on the site, scroll to the bottom of the settings and click on the section called Music Player. Here we can turn it off, choose the color of the icon, and also insert a link to your track. To do this, go to the Shopify dashboard and find the Content tab. 
Upload your MP3 file here and copy its link. We carried out similar actions when uploading a video. After that, go back to theme settings and paste the link into this text field. Moving on, let's set up the font on the site. Go to theme settings and find the custom font tab. Here we can disable or enable this feature. If we turn it off, then standard fonts from the Shopify library are displayed. If you want to use them, go to the Typography tab. Here you can choose fonts for headings and body text. If you want to use a custom font, go to the Shopify panel and in the Files tab, upload the font in WOFF2 format. Copy the font link and go back to Theme Settings and in the Custom Font tab paste the font link. Don't forget to include the name of the font as well. Here we can choose the font for both the headings and the body text. Moving on, the next setting will help us choose a custom cursor on the site. We can either disable this feature or select an image to be displayed on the site as the cursor. The next setting is responsible for the color palette on the site. The choice of color is divided into sections, and each color is signed. When changing colors, be careful that the elements do not merge with each other. Therefore, after changing the colors, review the entire site both on a PC and on a phone so that your customers do not have any difficulties in making a purchase. This is where the main settings end, but you can explore the rest of the settings. Let's proceed to the stage of customizing the password page. To do this, click on the drop-down list at the top and find the password page. This page appears assuming you have enabled it in Shopify. Let's go in order. The logo on this page will display the one you selected in theme settings in the logo tab. To set up countdown timer, go to its settings. Here we can turn it off, choose the color of the numbers and their size, as well as the color of the text under the numbers and its size. To select the end date for the timer, enter it in the text field in the format indicated in the tooltip. Please note that after the timer expires, there will be zeros on the numbers, but the password page will not turn off automatically. To do this, you need to turn it off in Shopify manually. To set up email sign up, click on this setting. Here you can turn off the field for entering first name and last name. The data that users will enter will be displayed in Shopify in the Customers tab. We can also customize the color of the text on the password page. Go to the setting called Text Colors and choose a color for the text as well as for the button. We can also choose a background on the password page. Setting it up is the same as for the rest of the site, so I'm sure you won't have any problems with that. This completes the password page settings. Let's move on to setting up the background for pages. In the drop down list, select the Pages section. Go to Default Page. Here you can choose the background for pages such as Contact, Policy Pages, Lookbook, and more. You can turn off the custom background for the pages, or you can customize it. Let's move on to the last setting. In the drop down list, select the Lookbook page. It is worth noting that this is a setting for the template of this page. Don't forget to create a page in Shopify and select the lookbook template. On this page, you can add slides with a photo of your clothes, add a description to each of the slides, as well as a button with a link that you can also specify. For example, a photo shows a certain product, and you can add a link to the page of this product. This completes the lookbook settings. By scrolling to the bottom of the site, we can also customize the footer. We can turn off the collection of emails or social media icons. If you haven't set up socials on the Enter page, then go to Theme Settings and select the Social Media tab. Insert social links and they will be displayed in the footer. This completes the theme setup. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us in direct or leave a request on our website.